Greetings everyone, thank you for joining me. Leo, Leo the Lion, this is your reading for July. I'm doing this reading just before the second solar eclipse of June, which is on the 21st solstice day. Now it's an incredibly important big manifesting eclipse. There's been a lot written up about it by various astrologers. But here's a little bit of information that's come in from one particular uh, sort of psychic astrologer, if you like. The 21st new moon solar eclipse in Cancer is the most powerful of the year. This is because it falls just moments after the solstice at zero degrees of Cancer. Zero degrees of any zodiac sign is powerful as it represents the field of infinite possibilities. But zero degrees of Cancer also happens to be the global axis a highly charged point in the cosmic skies. Having a new moon solar eclipse on the global axis indicates an opening of a new timeline, a new world and a new dimension of being. It represents a point in our history but also in our hearts where a new world has dawned. So you can see the intensity that even astrologers are feeling is, is the punch behind this eclipse that is coming on the 21st of June. So regardless of whether you are listening to this before that time frame or after it, you are likely to feel the impending winds of change ignited in your life at some level or another. And we can see that collectively already around the globe. And I feel that this is just the starting point. As they said, it's like a new timeline that's opening that will be taking us forward probably through shaping destinies through the rest of this decade, the 2020s. And I wasn't exactly sure myself what was going to lead such a big change, but I knew that 2020, as, as it started in the early 20s, and as we get to the end of the 20 decade, it will not be as it is now. And I think this big solar eclipse is playing a role in that. So anyhow, Leo, now that you've got a little bit of an understanding of the intensity of the eclipse, and bear in mind, that's just one aspect of the planetary alignments and energy that is happening, because we also have many retrogrades as well, that might help you to understand how important it is at this point in time to connect with yourself, in particular, your dreams and desires, how you feel about life, and what you are anticipating or manifesting. So let's see for Leo... There's a couple that have jumped out. It doesn't matter if these are upside down. They can only be read or looked at one way in real terms. So we have the eight of summer, which is the desire for a more meaningful life, realizing that it is time to move on and choosing to make major life changes. Well, as if I haven't just stated that, the first card that comes out reiterates that to you. The king of winter uh, is the king of swords, knowledgeable, experienced, fair-minded and unemotional. Great advice from someone professional and objective, public speaking, unemotional relationships. So given these were the first two to jump out, this guy is like the king of swords in tradition wise. He could be someone who is giving you advice and he could be a professional such as a lawyer, accountant, tax man, doctor. A psychologist, counsellor, any of those type of things, you might be putting these two together in your life at the moment and saying to yourself, well, it's time to move on. And to move on, I need some help or support or advice, especially in legal representation. Some of you may be thinking of uplifting um, like a, a new job or career or business that you're opening or bringing something into production or um, finalizing off something that you are finishing and turning it into a product or in a public arena event. Now for others of you this may be something like separation and moving away from a partnership that has been with you for a long time but it's now time to move on. And this could include things such as a personal relationship, so seeking a separation or divorce, but it could also be a business relationship that you are retiring from or expanding from one way or another. So plenty to think about when these two have come together. They're definitely merging this letting go of something as you walk toward the light and head into your future, and this person feels as though he is helping it. Now for some of you, this may be a new person you are meeting at a friend or personal 
love relationship level and he could also be the reason why you decide to grab the rest of your life and change direction and make this impactful change as you move forward. So let's see what else is in store for Leo here for July. Now because I'm doing these readings in June, I feel they're quite active from the time they've been uplifted. So you may see some of these activations taking place from right now, or you may um, feel that they're around you and that, that, that something is just afoot. For Leo, for July. Two more with the same colours <laughs> and slightly different areas. I'm beginning to wonder what is going on behind this card. I think it has just about turned out for every reading. There's something in that and I mean the cards are shuffled for every reading. They're all put back in different orders but yet she persists in coming out. She is a great card. She is the card of harvest or fertility and when we think of harvest we know that's a completion of a cycle. It's the reaping of the rewards of the work you may have done through something earlier and that you have come to fruition of that. You've picked the harvest which has sated you and you are ready to move forward with new ideas and energy and connection because she's very, very connected to all that is on this earth realm. She exudes happiness, joy, harmony, success, euphoria, pleasure, peacefulness in many, many ways. All those beautiful white lights that flash around her, they're all part of her vibrational field of, of high energy and high understanding. I also note this little seed pod down here which looks like an ovum in parts and so for some of you, and since this is turning up a lot, I'm not sure what it's referring to in real terms because it, it seems a really community related message. This could be about fertility and woman's cycles in life. So initially I felt was it about the ovum and was it about egg fertility or womb or menstruation problems but now that I'm beginning to think it's maybe a, a cycle of life that the Empress is telling us about and that this ovum, this fertilized egg is about to flourish and that means new life or new beginnings. And this seems to be at a very collective message, even though you have it individually in your reading as well. So take from the Empress what you like. The, the words are time to take action, the power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. So if you've been having a hard time, and for a lot of people that is a reality on the planet this year because of the event that took place from the beginning of the year that is still occurring, so many people have had financial hardship, their jobs have been displaced, they have been displaced or locked down. So a lot of people have felt out of sorts, out of kilter. But this in turn has led them to pondering what they're about, where they're going. And of course a lot of people have had a little bit more time to do so. So we've had this ability to connect with ourselves at a far deeper cosmic level and for some people on the planet this is bringing new realizations or understandings about their life and what their dreams might be. So I think from this time point on and with these eclipses as well we're going to see quite a lot of people changing things out, moving them around, changing them up, going in a different direction. And this may affect you at the personal level. You might find that friends are doing this, family are doing it, and you could be yourself as well. If we come to the card next to it, the six of summer, we see the, it mentions here children or childhood. And this is a little child in this egg. And that's why I did mention it can mean fertility and conception of pregnancies or conception of new ideas, businesses, partnerships, liaisons all sorts of things. So both of these cards are, seem to be deeply connected. For some of you, this Empress who has this fertility or harvest, it may be harking back to your childhood years and you may be finally feeling that you're free of something that may have held you back from the younger years of your childhood. And it may be associated with something that had happened within your family. 
uh, with uh, regards to siblings or a parent or a grandparent and you may feel like there's a freeing up of that or as if you've grown up and you're now independent of perhaps pressures or expectations that may have been placed on you by these limiting um, set of circumstances and that's what the harvest could mean for you this whole freedom this whole ability to be who you want to be without shackles or without worries because this is coming over time and part of that is the timeline we're in at the moment is very very karmic and a lot of karmic energies or a lot of karmic pathways are being released and they're being allowed to be healed if you like and so our souls are ticking off certain events that we had to do enable for us to move on at the soul level so it's very powerful it's very very deep and I know a lot of people might not be thinking along those lines but if you do a bit of meditation with yourself you might come to understand more about the depth of of the river that's running through your life at the moment and how deep it actually goes and what it's connecting to but if we come back to the six of summer children or childhood the return of people or romances from your past remembering events differently in a better or worse light how than than how they actually occurred so this six of cups can often mean a feeling of fond memories of childhood as well so connection to the family some way or another and this love that we may have had when we were children and feeling secure for some of us and feeling uh, like less secure if you were in a home that was destabilized or had a parent that wasn't as cooperative or as supportive as they might have been and this might be why this is all tied into this empress so the allowing of some of this to be freed up and to move away and not have a negative hold on you these are the opportunities when it says we have the power of creativity if we've experienced something tough or harsh or negative this is the time when we can let it go and it will no longer have a hold on us this also reminds us to be like a child to enjoy the fun and laughter and pleasure and leisure that children have in their life to daydream daydream brings out powerful creativity and passion in our lives you may find an old lover walks back into your life at this time uh, it might be for reasons of reinstigating it but it might also be for reasons of healing it if there was pain or trauma when the relationship broke up so two cups and two um, a sword and a major arcana at this stage let's see if there's anything else in here for you guys Leo we'll see if we'll get a different color palette coming out so lots of blue and purple and the blue is communication and the purple is the third eye the intuitive aspect of us and reaching into our psychic self and receiving messages of intuition and of cosmic reference These are a little bit hard to shuffle, but I see another two up here that have, that have uh, arrived per se. Two major arcanas. So you now have three major arcanas. The magician has been out a little bit. The chariot hasn't turned up yet, so he's a new one. Um, we'll go to the magician. You can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success success that comes from dedication and self-discipline celebrating your accomplishments being in the spotlight and I think we can say that all of these three are very positive light filled movement type cards these two in particular can indicate movement movement into a period of transformation of activation of uh, events occurring this one is movement forward either at the physical or metaphysical level so sometimes this can be moving traveling shifting homes can turn up when the chariot is here events around road travels or trips or around a vehicle or a car if you have a car you might buy a new one or it might need servicing 
Uh, it might be, now this sometimes happens, which is a bit silly, but you might lose your keys temporarily. So watch where you put your keys. Given that we've got this movement, this is often at the spiritual level and it's about a metaphysical journey of understanding and growth and awareness, almost as you have finished the harvest of one part of life and you are about to birth a new idea, then the magician and the chariot take over from that and cupulate it into reality and bring it into this timeline and allow it to occur. So the two of these together could be very powerful especially if you can alchemize them to work together and see the magic in situations. Now when the magician turns up, there is work for you to do. Although he is magic and he can turn a situation from an alchemic process into another outcome, it requires your effort. It's not like just buying a lotto ticket and being the winner. This is more like the hard work is involved in here to push it through, to see the synchronistic messages when they come to you, to be able to be ready to jump into the energy of the magician and ignite it. And the chariot, it is dedication and self-discipline. Sometimes this can be a reference that you have come out of a period where you were lacking or lacking zest for life or the ideas or the energy. You might have been trying for a long time on a project that seems to have stalled or you lost your way on the project or you didn't have a final answer. Well when the chariot is back in balance again and the energy flows are back then he is on his way creating magic. This card can also represent like having been left flattened as in health wise. So you may have been out of balance in your health zone, feeling unwell, having a long term or long event negative health situation that has been draining both physically, mentally and even financially. But when he's coming back into balance again, he's allowing flow and movement forward. So ponder what the chariot actually means for you and what he is saying to you. With the three major arcanas in, you have this ability to focus on them for your month, well, as I say, June and July, but I'm thinking it's even further out than that because of the crucial time period we're in, as I just read for you, that this new moon solar eclipse on the global axis is an opening of a new timeline, a new world, and a new dimension of being. These opportunities shouldn't be just passed by. You need to really focus on them and meditate with them to see where they're taking you. So a really nice reading from those cards that came in and quite um, specifically pointed messages I tend to find. Let's see what's in store for you from this deck here, the Energy Oracle deck. This is for Leo for July. Wow. The healer of the ages. He's like the Christed white light energy. And again, in many ways, his power is magic. It's alchemical. He, if he is the healer of the ages, and I had just finished talking to you about the fact that for some of you, there may have been a health issue that, that had been holding you back one way or another, or had been a long duration event. This healer of the ages may be helping to enable the energy of the chariot to come back in your life and to fulfill this change that is coming and the opportunity that is around with the power of the magician. So if we put the healer of the ages in the middle and these cards on either side, we're getting this synergistic energy field occurring because he holds power out at both of his hand levels igniting the possibilities of these for you and I said just before before he turned up that this felt to be a very strong reading and it's at a timeline in this year in this portal of life that we're moving through that this has turned up for you so I think this is very very empowering the healer of ages could be coming to you personally at any different level he has illumination around his top top of his head at the chakra the Sahasara. He also has illumination through his heart and his hands. So there's a healing energy available to you 
through these realms. Some of you might get heightened awareness through the psychic senses, which we've mentioned a little bit, uh, or you may also receive synchronistic events occurring at a, at a far greater level and heightened awareness. You may also receive feelings or tinglings at the top of the head. You may find thoughts coming very activated and fast, as well as dreamscape experiences, lucid dreaming and astral travel. You may feel connected to the cosmos and the greater energy field of all that is. You may experience heart issues or palpitations or movements or something to do with the heart at the physical level. There may be a healing there at the emotional too. With the hand energy on the healer of ages, it almost feels as though if some of you want a healing to take place, this would be the time to do it whether it's physical, emotional, mental or spiritual. It's a very powerful card and it's a powerful mix that sits there uh, in that particular diagrammatic energy field. We'll see if we've got one more for you. There's a really nice reading, Leo. I'm a bit envious. <laughs> I haven't done the Aries one yet for myself, but um, I'm liking yours. You can come back and reconnect with these readings at any time as well and you know reconnect with the energy the messages and the cards so if ever you're going through a period where you're feeling a little bit low or you, something is bothering you or you're not getting it you know when you've been meditating or something then just come back and reconnect with any of these energies they're available as long as the video is up oh wow beautiful beautiful another um, cosmic celestial energy being and this is Archangel Shamuel with the third chakra energy and he also has an activation through the heart and through the head so both of these cards here the healer of the ages and um, Archangel Shamuel are seemingly indicating oh and his hands so there's a double message here for these activation points with you in both of these cards and they're celestial or cosmic beings or energies that are able to surround this time period for you. I really hope you guys feel this powerful energy that's here and that you call upon these celestial beings of energy to come in if you need them and to bring in awareness or opening or healing or strength or cosmic connectedness at this time frame at this really powerful time frame that we're in at the moment i mean this is powerfully magical the feeling from looking at these cards i'll see how close i can bring them up for you um is mighty in fact i will also because there's so much activation going on here especially in the heart and I have a beautiful heart chakra bowl I will do a sound bath activation for you in the background and this is the heart activation going up to the third eye you have enjoyed that little not interruption in the reading but rather a vibrational integration within the reading so, 
Leo, I have a feeling that we don't need to do the uh, final card, the animal oracle card, because there's so much resonant energy in these two that are here for you. I think this is a beautiful way to finish your reading. So thank you for joining me. And remember to check your moon and rising signs because there are some fabulous readings for the other astrological signs as well. This one has been a truly beautiful one and I think it's a magical way, magic, to finish off the reading with these two amazing, powerful cosmic energy fields coming in to support you and offer insight, awareness, awakening, clearance, healing, anything that you actually are looking for. And remember to utilize Archangel Shemuel, Shemuel as well throughout the month. He also works in the realm of love and romance. So he may be affecting or he may be effective in that area of your life as well. Pull in on the beautiful golden rays and the golden energy that exudes from this. So think of gold as a color you could utilize for the month of July as well, and the golden ray energy. So thank you again, Leos. Uh, you have had a beautiful, beautiful reading. Thank you for subbing the channel, liking the video. I love it when you leave your comments as well. Please hit the notification button so that you can receive my uploads when they arrive. And have a wonderfully enlightened month ahead. Be safe everyone, be well and be kind to each other. Namaste.